Hello, Christine Niles here. Before we get into headlines, please remember you can watch this and all the videos we produce over at churchmilitant.com. There's Vortex, Headlines, Download, and all sorts of free and premium shows, not to mention daily news and commentary on current events relevant to the Catholic world. Please click the link after the video, and we'll see you at churchmilitant.com. Hello, I'm Simon Rafe. Christine is out today. It's Wednesday, January 17th, 2018, and here are your latest Church Militant headlines. The Vatican is denying that a papal honor bestowed on an abortion advocate signals support. Last week, the Lepanto Institute reported that Lillian Pluman, a Dutch abortion activist, was received into the Order of St. Gregory by the Vatican in 2017. The honor is typically given to those nominated by bishops for special merit. Pluman afterwards said it was a high distinction from the Vatican, but Monday, the Holy See's press office rejected her claim, saying it was merely a diplomatic honor and is not at all an expression of assent to Pluman's stand favoring abortion and birth control. A group of Catholic leaders are calling men to embrace authentic masculinity. A team led by EWTN's Chris Stefanik is launching Rise, a 30-day video series of practical challenges to help men build a spiritual battle plan for their lives. The action plan includes recommitting to their wives and children. In a recent poll, nearly two-thirds of American dads admit they don't spend nearly enough time with their kids. Rise aims to change that by leading men back to an authentic masculinity rooted in their identity as sons of God. The Vatican is investigating an alleged miracle by a victim of the Nazis. An elderly Florida priest is claiming his deadly skin cancer was miraculously cured through the prayer of Father Titus Bransma, a Dutch Carmelite priest imprisoned under Hitler's regime for speaking out against the Nazis. During his imprisonment, in spite of suffering greatly, blessed Titus Bransma administered to fellow prisoners and brought comfort and peace. He died at Dachau concentration camp on July 26th, 1942, and was beatified in 1985. If the miracle is approved, the Carmelite will soon be named a saint. A Mexican prelate is reaffirming church teaching on homosexuality. In an interview last week, Cardinal Juan Sandoval Ignés, Archbishop Emeritus of Guadalajara, stressed that homosexual acts are never morally permissible, saying, quote, that's what Genesis is about. What happened with Sodom and Gomorrah? What happened? They gave vent to their desires and were destroyed. Ignés added that chastity is a universal precept that everyone, whether same-sex attracted or not, must conform to. A new report is revealing that around 217 million Christians are suffering persecution in 50 countries. Last week, Christian media reported on a watch list of countries where Christians suffer extreme persecution for their faith. The nonprofit Open Doors USA released the findings, revealing radical Islam is the source of most persecutions in Africa and Asia, and that women are a major target. According to the report, Islamic oppression fuels persecution in eight out of the top 10 countries. I'm Simon Rafe. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today when Michael talks about fatherhood. And check out the download where the panel discusses the desert fathers. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And even better, head over to churchmilitant.com to watch headlines, vortex, download, and hundreds of hours of video, as well as read articles on our site and check out reporting you won't find at any other Catholic outfit. And don't forget, we're also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, so please be sure to follow us there as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you over at churchmilitant.com. God bless.